Here we go. Let's see if this works right here. See if anybody hops on or not. My screen is a blank screen here, but maybe you can, you guys can see me. I have no clue. I don't know what's going on. Big guy, what's going on, my friend? Can you see me or can you just hear me? Z Show, Vicky, hello. What's going on? I know that several people were, uh, they were on the, uh, the other link that I had set up. Some of you guys, you're watching this on replay. In any case, welcome to Island Time. It's Tuesday night, a special edition. Uh, we're going to get this thing going here. There's a lot we have to catch up on. It's been a little while since we did this. So while everyone hops over, let me go ahead and say some hellos for just a couple of minutes until we get started here. Vicky, hello. That's where I left off there. Uh, Loretta, hello. And Alex is here as well. Alex, it was great to talk to you a little bit today online. Thank you so much for your content. Alex the Cruiser on Facebook. If you're not following Alex, you are missing out. Most definitely. Chris, hello. Martin from Clinton, Oklahoma. So close to my hometown right here. Jennifer, Mr. Fireball Steve. I hope that you're having a good week, Fireball Steve. Amanda, hello. Warren, uh, Shauna, hello. There is Clark from Florida, sunny Florida. Well, not, that would be nice right now. It really would. Uh, Don, hello. Jeremy, hello. TJ's Destinations is here. Z, absolutely. Some little fireball on a Tuesday night. And hello. I'm sorry uh, for the difficulty, but we're here. Elaine, hello. Jason. Uh, Mary uh, and Kevin. Hey there, buddy. Derek and Amanda from Odessa, Missouri. Uh, guys, I hope that you're having a good week. It is uh, Tuesday. It's It's been a great day uh, as far as getting things accomplished. I got a lot of things marked off the list today, and I hope you did as well. As we jump into the show, though, I want to ask you this. When is your next cruise? We're coming up on the busiest time of year to cruise which is summertime. It will be here before you know it. The month of April is kind of the last break that cruise lines and crew members get before the big rush sets in for the summer. And many of you are cruising over the summer. So let us know. If you know your countdown, throw it in the comments. If you don't know your comment, or your countdown, just throw in your date and your ship and let's see what we have going on. I know that many of you are getting ready to cruise and we'll talk about uh, some of our cruises and some ideas that we have as well on the show here in just a little bit. Uh, hello, Nadine and Brian, uh, Mike and Wendy. It's great to see you guys as well. Robert, Dennis, Amber, I am here. I can't see myself, but uh, as long as the video is showing, that is okay. Uh, it's it's odd. I don't know why it's behaving like this, but that is okay. Sometimes it happens like that, right? Uh, there we go. Mr. Steven Skinner, how about that? Three weeks from yesterday is Steven's next cruise. We finally got to meet Steven on the Jubilee last week. Had a fantastic time. Uh, playing craps together, enjoying some comedy together. It was great to cruise with Stephen. Finally, it's been a little while, uh, and it was great to to catch up on a cruise. Uh, Jason, hello. Three hundred and twenty days. I know that sounds like a long ways away, but it will be here before you know it. That's the way it always happens, does it not? Uh, it will be here very very soon. Uh, let's see what else we got. Angie is here. Jolie, hello. Loretta, cruising on Sunday. Harmony of the Seas, it's time to pack. Oh, that would be so much fun. The Harmony of the Seas, a beautiful ship. Uh, Jennifer, you're booking my September cruise on the Jubilee? Absolutely. We discussed several things today on the Jubilee. Jennifer was looking for a Royal Caribbean cruise. She was honest with me. She said, I've done the pricing. I wanted to sell Royal Caribbean. Uh, but then she had seen some uh, reporting and feeds and updates from me and others on the Jubilee. She looked at the pricing and she said, are you kidding me? I can go on the Jubilee for this price versus going on a Royal Caribbean trip uh, for what they were charging. So we're going to get all that done tonight. All your pricing, your hotel, uh, your parking, all of it. Speaking of parking, if you're cruising from Galveston, you have until the end of this month uh, to book your parking with the Port of Galveston, Galveston Wars. We have our partnership with them. They're offering $20 off parking. If you use the code ISLANDTIME2024, when you go and you, and you start to make that reservation, they will give you $20 off, which is more than one day of parking that you get for free. So be sure you do that before the end of the month. It's good for any future cruise, any cruise line. Uh, let me know, guys, if you have used that code. I just used it personally about a week ago myself. Uh, my brother and sister used it as well. Uh, $20. You can't beat that at all. 
Let's see who else we've got in the house tonight. It's been a little while since we've done a live, live show. I, I apologize for that. We've been gone uh, the last two weekends, of course, with our cruise. And then prior to that, we were getting ready for our cruise. And you guys know everything that's entailed with getting ready from paying bills to making sure the house is in order, the house is clean before you leave, packing the kids and taking care, of course, of our, of, of our clients who are cruising and making sure final payments were made throughout the end of March and all that good stuff. So we're going to catch up tonight. There's a lot to talk about tonight, a lot going on, a big cruise news day, honestly, a big week uh, that we'll talk about tonight. Yep. Thanksgiving on Mardi Gras, Shannon. That'll be fun. We're going to be on the Norwegian getaway. We still have a few cabins. I was talking with Norwegian uh, just today, and uh, we had some great pricing on the Norwegian getaway out of New Orleans for this Thanksgiving. We're talking about interior cabins for less than $2,000 for two people. That includes the drink package. That includes internet. That includes uh, a short excursion credit. And Norwegian said, hey, do you think you could sell a few more of these cabins? I said, well, I think really everyone that wanted to book them has them booked. And they said, well, if you know anyone that wants to book with you, wants to cruise with you over Thanksgiving, seven days, November the 24th is the sell date. They said, we'll give you a few more of these cabins if you think you can sell them. And so uh, I didn't, I never did tell them I think I could sell them, but um, they let me have a few more. So if you're looking for something for this Thanksgiving, uh, I told Amber County and just earlier today, I'm excited about that trip uh, because there's so many unknowns. It's, it's the nervous, uh, anxious feeling when you haven't been on a ship before, you haven't left out of a home port, I haven't been on a, that itinerary it's a fun nervousness sometimes. We have sailed Norwegian before, just not the getaway. And it's been a while since we've been out of New Orleans. So uh, we have many who are joining us on that cruise. Vicky, hello, 102 days away. Jason as well, February 2025 on the Forense. We'll talk about the Forense here in just a little bit. Um, and I was just afraid I was going to miss your live show. My next cruise is not until 648 days plus away. And who's counting? Uh, it will be here before you know it. And you might squeeze one in before that. Who knows? Z, it's great to see you. October, yes. Yeah, we're about to start that busy season. Mr. Matt Hinkle, how are you, brother? I hope that you're doing well. Hello, Islanders. Hope you all are doing well. We hope, Matt, that you and Kim are doing well. Um, it's been a little while since I talked to you. Hope that you're doing well. Brandon, uh, I'm leaving to go to Galveston this Friday. Then, uh, then aboard the Jubilee on Saturday. I'm totally getting lost. Absolutely. Uh, Brandon, have a safe trip. Uh, use that parking code, of course. And guys, if you're in those Facebook groups as well, uh, feel free to share that code in the groups. And I don't say that because I'm getting some type of kickback. There's not a kickback. I can tell you that. It only helps uh, the Port of Galveston and Island Time build a relationship. You know, if we have 300 or 500 people use that code, they say, okay, yeah, you have people who cruise out of Galveston. Now let's do this. Now let's do that. Now let's give you uh, access to a tour on MSC's new terminal when it comes out November 9th of 2025. Stuff like that. So trying to build that relationship and partnership, and that's what it, that's what it does there. Yep. Bill's going on uh, the Viva in five days. That will be a lot of fun. Absolutely. I need help uh, booking the Jubilee for 2025. Don, let's take care of it. Uh, a lot of focus has turned to 2025 already. Uh, I was on a meeting earlier in the week and uh, one sales representative, and I've mentioned this before, at the turn of the new year, 72% of all cabins, all inventory for Carnival Cruise Line was booked. It was a record. It shattered a record. That was 2024, 72% on January the 1st was booked. That number is already now up to 79.5%. Only 20% of inventory on every ship is available. And that is not much. So a lot of people are already turning to 2025, trying to lock in that price, get the early saver sale and things like that. So we can help you out with that as well. Guys, as we get started, if you have questions, be sure to uh, type the word question, put it in all caps. I will try to see it as well. Uh, if you are new here, say hello. Maybe you've joined before, but you haven't uh, ever typed anything out and shared your thoughts. Be sure to do that as well. Uh, we would love to see that. We're going to catch up. And, and there, there's sometimes I will I will get lost in it all. Just trust me. I will get lost and I won't be sure uh, who said what or I won't see a question. Be sure you type it more than once. Type it a second time if I don't see it. And I'll do everything that I can to see it. Uh, I do want to share this. We are I must, I want to talk about a, a special trip coming up. Uh, that I, it's going to be interesting, I'll, I'll say in the least. We're looking for some new equipment here, and I wanted to put this out there if it will let me. I don't know if it's going to let me. 
on YouTube. It's a link. It's not going to let me. Matt Hinkle, uh, Matt Hinkle knows about this. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 uh, is what I'm looking to get. And so um, I'd ordered it before we left to go on the Jubilee, and it didn't come in. It's like a two-week turnaround. Uh, but it's a little bitty gimbal. I usually carry around this big camera. Uh, not the one even with my phone. The one with my real camera is huge. And I'm looking for this Pocket Osmo. And so uh, we're going to see if we can get that in uh, Crash Dave. It's it's things like that. Uh, the membership subscriptions. And then Mr. Lido Life, thank you so much for that super chat. We have an empty, lonely fishbowl. And Lido Life is going to change that. And so Amanda has told me tonight, whenever I get to some super chats here, she said halfway, but we'll see if we get that. It's about the camera's ridiculous price. That's, that's why I didn't buy it again whenever it didn't come for... For Galveston, but little life, you were in here. We're gonna see if we get some super chat, see if we can get that new camera. Uh, because I keep on hearing from all of you islanders, you want me to make vlogs, you want to see vlogs, you want to see experiences. Here's day one, here's day two. You want to see me in the frame and things like that. And the camera I have now is great, and, and the equipment I have is great. It's just a lot to carry around. And this stick, uh, Matt Hinkle has it. He said, You'll love it, man. DJI packs a punch. Uh, and so that's what I'm looking to get, something that I can carry around easily. I can slip in my pocket when I'm not using it, and then I can start creating these vlogs that everyone wants to see. So uh, it'll be a little bit different. People want it, and I'm committed to do it. I just have everything to do so. Mr. Crash Day, I forgot to update my membership after a new card. I know that happens sometimes. Jolie, just, uh, she sent an email about that that we'll have to get to. Crash Dave, you are in the fishbowl, my friend. We will draw at the end of the show uh, to give something away. Absolutely. And it has been a little while, guys. I apologize. It it has ju it's really been busy. Baseball season has started up as well, so we've been busy some nights. Big guy, I got you right here in the super chat. I appreciate that. It is good to be back. It really is. Got you right on in here. Uh, Z, what uh, were the cruise ships that were already out of Baltimore? Where would they go? We're not sure where they're going to go yet. Of course, uh, Carnival has a ship selling out of there. Royal Caribbean has a ship. I think it's the Legend and the Vision uh, of the Seas. Uh, and they're not set to come back until I think I think the legend is the 31st. So uh, not set to come back for just a little while. And we're hopefully going to figure out where they go. Uh, right now, though, it's a search and recovery mission, right? They're not moving things out of the way. That's what a lot of people I've seen on social media. They said, well, the ship's going to be there in five days. They'll have the debris moved out of the way by then. That's not necessarily the case when they're doing search and recovery. They're not touching the debris yet. So We'll see what happens. There's a lot of questions right now. We have some clients cruising out of Baltimore the next couple of weeks that we've been uh, trying to help today. You know, my, my piece of advice, if I had a, a cruise out of Baltimore for the next month, probably, I would look at alternative cruises. And that's what I advised a lot of our clients today. Uh, some of them wanted to roll the dice, and that is just fine. We can wait and see what's going to happen. But if you want to have the comfort of knowing and be able to get excited about what you know what's going to happen, Let's move you to a different cruise. And Carnival and Royal Caribbean were both great and waived all change fees uh, for those who are wanting to change and go to a different port. So that is great. Uh, Mike and Wendy, thank you so much for that super chat, guys. We're off to a great start. I may have to go downstairs and tell Amanda, I'm ordering it. I'm going to order it. Uh, she'll be surprised. I can promise you that. I'd ordered it. It was supposed to arrive in Galveston at our Airbnb, uh, and, it, and it didn't arrive. So then I had to cancel the order. I was upset because I wanted to use that all week. Mike, hello. You need that camera. I hope this helps. Mike, thank you so much. They say it's great. It, guys, it's a little bitty. I mean, it's like, it'd be so easy to carry around. So I'm excited about that. If you see me on trips, you've seen me carry around. Just my phone camera is not bad, but the gimbal for my, my DJI gimbal for my Sony camera, and it's like 10 pounds too. So here we go. Let's uh, take a screen, uh, a peek at the screen, guys. Thank you for your super chats. Keep them coming. I appreciate that so much. Uh, remember to use two hands. Yeah, it will blow away. Yeah. <laughs> and two hands, uh, comedy show. I know what you're talking about too, uh, as well. Yep. Orlando, Florida checking in CBS, uh, New York six o'clock says carnival now using Norfolk in place of Baltimore. Kathy, I appreciate that. That is a late, uh, latest update that I've heard uh, Norfolk, not very far, of course, uh, from Baltimore. So maybe that is what's going to happen. If so, that is great. It's an easy solution. Uh, and I will look for that. I worked up until we hopped on here. So I'm a little bit behind here. Leslie, it's great to see you here tonight. Thank you so much for that super chat. My goodness gracious. Thank you guys so much. You're being so kind tonight. We appreciate it. We have so much to talk about as well, but I haven't seen some of you in a little while. Look at that, guys. Look at that. 
Thanks, filling up already. I love it. Crash Dave, I get your camera. <laughs> Eric Craps, come back this weekend on the breeze. I like that. Crash Dave, appreciate that so much. I do. Got you in there a second time. Um, Norfolk terminals being renovated, so that may be interesting there. I travel for life. Hello, what camera are you getting? It's the DJI uh, Osmo Pocket Three Content Creator Edition. <laughs> That's a lot, is it not? Uh, if you look at it, DJI Osmo Pocket Osmo Three Content Creator Edition. Look how small it is. It really is cool. Uh, that's what we're hoping to get. Uh, Miss Joni, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that so much. We're going to get you in here. Amanda is working right now, and she might make her way up here in just a little bit. 31 days into the sunshine. That's going to be a blast. She might make her way up. Uh, we'll see. We've, we have still been uh, trying to recover and catch up from our crews on board the Jubilee. Let me take a peek at comments here, and then we'll talk about the Jubilee. We'll make sure I don't miss anything here. Um, yeah, Dennis saw that same announcement, so that is cool. I did not see that. Um, and so did Joni, so appreciate that, guys. You guys are more up to date than I am. Charles, hello from Alexander, uh, Arkansas. Not far there. Uh, let's see what else they published. They will be going to Norfolk. Okay, so see, guys, you guys are more updated than I am. Uh, I've been busy the last couple hours for sure. Uh, let's see what else I missed. I'll see you be in Long Beach the 23rd. We'll talk about that, TJ, here in just a little bit. Wait until you hear this itinerary. Uh, that I have <laughs> that I have set up. Uh, which is better, Royal or Carnival out of Galveston? Charles, a great question there. Both great offerings out of Galveston. I would sell any Royal or Carnival ship out of Galveston. Uh, of course, the Harmony of the Seas is there right now, a beautiful ship, and she's very popular, gets great reviews. The Carnival Jubilee, though, right now is on fire. It is unbelievable. Maybe it's because Kindle Fire is on there. I don't know. It's unbelievable the success that the Carnival Jubilee has had in Galveston. I will tell you, expectations were high from Carnival. I was in all the meetings. The port. The port was so excited to get a new ship. The reviews, the pricing, the everything has blown expectations out of the water. Carnival Jubilee is set to have a huge year and maybe up for cruise ship of the year. I know she just came out in December, but you talk about the number of great reviews she's getting it would be hard pressed for me not to book someone on the Carnival Jubilee. And that's what Jennifer and I just, we talked about it earlier. She was looking at the Harmony of the Seas and it was double uh, what the Carnival Jubilee was. She's going September of this year and it's $2,500 for a balcony. Total, two people. Deck 11, like $2,500. That's, that's that's a great price. So, um, But I would go on either. Yep. Uh, has Carnival started sports gaming on board, Jeremy? They have. It's on about half of the fleet. They have kiosks that you can bet at. They've also made it as easy as, bam, on the Hub app. You can sports bet. It is not on the Carnival Jubilee yet, though, so uh, it is not as well. Did you see Baltimore? Yeah, bridge collapse. Yes, we've talked about that just a little bit. We will as well. Timothy will be on the bridge October 7th to the 12th. That's going to be fun, uh, taking some friends with him. Uh, going to the Jubilee, what's the best thing to do in Costa Maya? There's some different things to do. There is a, a all-inclusive option if you're interested in that. Some people get off and hang out by the pool right there. Um, that's as far as I can go up because I know I'm falling behind. Dan, I'm oh, sorry, Don, thank you so much for that. My goodness gracious, I appreciate that so much. We're going to get you in the fishbowl, get you swimming right here, Don. I appreciate that so much, that super chat. Um, graduated high school, how about that? Um, I have three cruises planned for the next 18 months. What is your next cruise? Uh, our next booked cruise is not until July in Europe, but we're looking at something in June. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit as well. Uh, good evening, Richard. Hello. Uh, Joni, thank you so much again for that super chat. We appreciate that. Uh, Gifted Island Time a membership. Appreciate that. Goodness gracious. Question, can you share the cost so we know the goal? Yeah, I, Mike, I didn't really want to do that because it, I, you guys support us in different ways. Uh, you watch our videos every day. You like our videos. Uh, you get on here sometimes. You you give a little donation, a little tip. Uh, the camera is 699 bucks, but I'm not saying that. We'll, we will get the camera. I appreciate your contributions, okay? I'll say that most definitely. Did my sister like the Jubilee, Z, Z asked. Absolutely, she did. We'll talk about that here in just a second. What is the cheapest cruise to go to in late August, early September? Sandra, cruises are a uh, pretty good price. Uh, well-pricing that time of year. 
hurricane season. Keeps some people away. Other cruise lines will always keep you safe. Uh, Carnival and Royal and MSC would be your best options for pricing in August and September. I've got my first Galveston cruise booked for August on the Breeze. Bogan, you're going to love that. We love the Breeze. Many of us cruisers have been on the Breeze. Islanders, if you have been on the Breeze, uh, say yes. Just put Y-E-S. Yes, I've been on the Breeze. I guarantee you, you're about to see a flood of yeses because the Breeze is one of Carnival's most, uh, most reviewed, positively reviewed ships, and she's been in Galveston. For about 10 years. She is, she's a beautiful ship. She is. Kendall is on vacation now. She was on our cruise. We had a great week with her. We hope to catch up with her in the in the coming days, maybe even have an interview once she uh, is able to uh, de-stress a little bit and just get back to reality. Can't believe that Carnival added another XL ship so quickly. Robert, that was crazy news. Just six, six weeks ago, we shared they were going to order a fourth XL class ship and then today they surprise us all and they're going to add a fifth uh one thing that is awesome about this is that carnival has gotten in a routine the last 15 to 18 years of building different classes of ships but only having three ships in each class uh and now we're going back to a time which that you know, i mean way in the fantasy class you know they had more than three ships and now they're going to have five ships in this class, where are they going to be? Where are they going to sell from? What will the names be of the two new ships? Will they all be seven day cruise ships or will one or possibly two be short three and four day cruises? There are so many questions that we need answers to. And we're going to see if we can get a little preview of some answers here pretty soon. Do I know the exact date of Celebration Key is opening? TJ, that's a great question. They've said July 2025. I have not seen an exact date yet. I can look at that, though. There is probably one out there. I could probably narrow it down uh, to what it will be. So let me look at that, okay? Travel for life, 150 days until the Jubilee. You're going to love her. Trust me, you were going to love her. Uh, yeah, so many yeses there for the breeze. Has anyone been on the Vista? And uh, do you like it? Jolie, we've been on the Vista probably six times. We absolutely love the Vista. Go ahead and treat yourself. Book a Havana cabin. It could be a Havana interior. That's fine because you're never going to be in there if you have Havana. It could be a Havana cabana. It could be an aft balcony. Has anyone stayed in a Havana cabin on a Vista class ship? Is it worth it? Jolie is asking. Let's tell her right now. Yes, yes, it is definitely worth it. We will be back on the Vista November of 2025. Uh, so we will be on the Vista out of Port Canaveral in 2025. Yeah, book it. Book Havana. It is an awesome experience. You get your own pool, own hot tubs, own bar. You feel like you're more on a yacht than a cruise ship. And sometimes you feel guilty. I've been back there. We've stayed in Havana several times. And we didn't even visit Lido Deck. Maybe the entire week we would be on Lido Deck combined. 20 minutes. And I felt guilty because Lido Deck is usually where we live, but Havana was that good. And so, yes, everyone tell Jolie, book it. Yep. A lot of growth uh, with those two new ships, most definitely. We're, we really need uh, a three night, yeah, three night cruises out of Galveston. Absolutely. It would be tough. You know, where could they go? The closest place really is Cozumel. Could they do it in three days? They could. Is there a market? Uh, I think so. I think right now there's a market, anything right now with cruising. Uh, it'd be really cool to have three day, three day cruises uh, from Galveston, a little weekend trip, right? Uh, or take off one day of work if you had to. That'd be really cool. Uh, yeah, thanks, Amber. We have Havana Aft balcony booked for June. Yeah, absolutely. It's now great to see you. I saw Max message that he had a dinner tonight and he may not be here. Panorama in 12 days. Jen, you're going to enjoy that so much. The pan Panorama, of course, a Vista class ship. I'll be selling the Vista for the first time on Halloween. Got a Cove balcony. You're going to love her. She just came out of dry dock. So right now she's one of the premier ships uh, to book and to cruise in, in the fleet. Uh, everything's new on her. Uh, she got new beds, new carpets in the public areas. They touched her up. She got her new livery. She looks great. So absolutely. Guys, thank you so much for 120 current viewers. We only have 37 likes, though. If you're signed in to YouTube really, really quick, smash that like button that will put this video in front of others who are looking for something to watch. Let's see if we can get that thing up to 50 likes here in the next few minutes. Yeah, lived in the Havana area, big guy said. Absolutely. Yeah, 1,400 passengers, Dennis. That was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, MSC Seashore next month. That's going to be a blast. Uh, we're selling MSC 
you know, we're hoping to sell before November 9th of 2025, but I don't know if we're going to get to it. Our schedule is filling up. We are on the first cruise on the seascape out of Galveston, November the 9th, 2025, Island Time, and Alex the Cruiser are partnering. Guys, we have over 100 cabins booked. People have laid the money down. They said, I want to be one of the, I want to be the first to sell out of Galveston on MSC. We may get to 150 cabins. We have blown MSC away. We've had our difficulties with them. I need a drink after even thinking about that. Uh, they're different. A European cruise line, they run things differently. So some of the background and operations have been challenging, but there's a lot of Islanders who said, put me on that ship. 100 cabins. It's going to be a blast. It is. I love the panorama was on her. Uh, Macrina says, stay on Queen Mary. Yeah. 24 days until the Jubilee Havana balcony. Felix, you're going to love it. Absolutely. Uh, expedition. Yes. Uh, happy Tuesday. Glad I made it to the lab before it ended. Question for you. Is the deposit for MSC Seascape the same for Yacht Club? It is. It is the same. Uh, but the only difference with groups in MSC is Yacht Club deposits are not refundable for some reason. I don't know why they do that. Uh, but Yacht Club deposits are not refundable, whereas everyone else's deposit is refundable up until final payment. So we are in the Yacht Club, too. I don't know if we have shared that. We are in the Yacht Club. Uh, Alex is in the Yacht Club. So we are going to have that yacht experience. That's exactly what MSC tries to do, make you feel like you're on a yacht. So we're excited about that. Yeah, I need to look at the Queen Mary. Uh, we'll talk about that here in just a second. My trip to California, I've never been. Uh, wait till you hear the itinerary as well. Let's go on the seascape in June. That that could be an option. It really could be. We're looking for something in June. Uh, we were doing MSC Yacht Club. Yes, absolutely. It's going to be fun. Let's talk about Jubilee. If you have any Jubilee questions, ask them now. I will give you a quick review of the Jubilee. So many of you, you joined our live uh our lives on the Jubilee. So you kind of already know the experience that we had. It was a great experience. Uh, you can really tell it was neat to visit. We were on the inaugural December 28th. And now just a couple of months later, it's a well old machine. A lot of the same crew members are there, but they know exactly what they're doing. They are very proficient and advanced in what they're doing. The food and I'm, you guys know, I don't cruise for food. That's I, I eat something quick and I keep going. Hands down, in 30-plus cruises on any cruise line, the best food we'd ever had. And that is uh, that is sourcing. That is the quality of the food. That is uh, the taste of the food. That is the temperature of the food. That is the offerings of the food. I mean, it was the best I've ever had. And we've been on Icon. We've been on the Norwegian Prima. We've done it. Uh, it was the best that we had ever had. They know what they're doing. There's so many options to eat for free. We had a blast. Um Yes, Queen Mary. I, I got to hear that story, Amber. <laughs> a ghost? Is it? Is it haunted? Is a Queen Mary haunted? I may have to stay. So I stay on the Queen Mary. Um, yeah, the casino host. Goodness. Uh, yes, yeah, Stephen. I had some weird interactions with them. Um, other things. Kindle Fire, of course, knocked it out of the park. She was cruise director hour a week. We were not sure if she was going to be, but Patrick was on the cruise before hours and said, hey, she's going to be. So uh, she was packing up. She was training uh, Lewis, and she was still trying to be cruise director. She was so busy, but took time to say hello to us. And, and at the same time, we were trying to vacation a little bit. I will say this. Amanda and I did not work as much as we thought we would. We worked six or eight hours a day. Uh, we usually work, no lie, 14 to 6 for sure at home, 16 hours a day. Uh, so we were off a little bit, and that was different to, to not be in front of a computer all day. So we enjoyed it. Most of the time we were off. We were, of course, with our kiddos at the water park. We were at the Lido pool uh, midship. We were doing all kinds of different things and had a blast in doing so. And so uh, we kind of we did our own thing. We saw Kendall just a few times during the week, and she was busy as well. But we hope to catch up with her very, very soon. Uh, for an interview. And so I did not know that it was haunted. I'm going to have to look at it. I did not know that. And now I'm going to stay in the, on the haunted ship by myself. That's what I'm going to do. I, I got to look that up. I've never heard that. They have a haunted tour. I did not know that. Brian says, so great meeting you. Absolutely. I agree. We met so many Islanders, which I was surprised, honestly, because we really didn't, we didn't announce besides just sharing on our, our daily show, really, uh, that we were going. We didn't, we weren't very active in the Facebook group. I posted a couple things about checking in maybe or 
just something small. So I was surprised that there were so many people that stopped to say hello, which is always a blessing and uh, take pictures and hear stories and things like that. And so, um, yeah, how hard is it to park and get uh, on the Jubilee compared to Royals new terminal? I have a mobility, mobility disability, Charles. It is, uh, it was relatively easy, especially the port of Galveston there. They have, uh, they have buses which can help with mobility issues and wheelchairs uh, right there. And then the express lot as well. The express lot is right by uh, uh, the term, the same side of the street as the terminal, and they can help you out there as well. So, yes, uh, Charles, they can help you most definitely. Again, if you guys are hopping on Island Time 2024, if you're cruising out of Galveston, go to the Port of Galveston's website. Use that for $20 off parking. Um, I also want to share as well, there's so many people who have booked a cruise with us this month or uh, transferred a cruise to us. We have a few days. We're going to draw. I had a couple of people ask me today, when are you going to draw for $100? Uh, if you booked a cruise with us this month or you've transferred a cruise to us, we're going to draw April the 1st, and it will not be an April Fool's joke, but somebody who booked a cruise with us this month will win $100 towards their cruise just as a way to say thank you. Not a lot of people do that. We are going to do that. So we appreciate that so much. Uh, Expedition here has a question. What's a group cruise like for a first timer? That's a great question. This might be our first ever booking a group cruise and highly considering your yacht club to experience the elevated cruising experience. Group cruises are so much fun because they provide you an avenue to get to know people before you even cruise. Uh, Alex and I and Amanda will start group meetings coming up uh, here pretty soon. We still have several months because the cruise is not until November of 2025, but we will have monthly Zoom sessions where all of us going on a cruise will be invited to attend those sessions to talk about what's going on, what to expect. We will have group excursions. If you want to go on the group excursion, you have to pay for it, but you get to go on a group. We handle all the planning for us. We get to hang out and chill and sometimes party all together. Um, and then there's a group events that happen on board. We'll have a one hour open bar uh, we'll also have venue space for like question and answer session with Alex and I and Amanda and so many different things. We'll get uh, get to give some things away also for free. And of course, all this is included in the price that you would pay if you didn't book through the group and you booked on your own, you'd pay the same price. So why not book the group cruise experience? And so that's a little uh, nutshell uh, about the group cruise experience. It's going to be fun. And yes, the Zoom meetings are fun. They really are. Um Will G, how about that? Found the right link. I apologize for that. We had some issues earlier. It's like I haven't done this in several weeks. Steve, I guess, is watching hockey or something from Bridgestone Arena uh, saying hello. Uh, let me share this. My my sister, her first cruise ever on the Jubilee, she's spoiled, right? She had a blast. One thing that struck a chord with her was the ducks. She loved finding and hiding the cruise ducks. And I never thought about that. I never even, she's like, why didn't you mention to me that people bring these ducks? I would have brought some ducks. And I'm like, I didn't know that you would like the ducks. I didn't know I needed to mention the ducks to you. She had an absolute blast with those ducks and she got her steps in each and every day with those ducks. She took the stairs everywhere. She went hunting. Uh, anytime there was a, any type of downtime, she would go hunting and she loved those ducks. Do you guys hunt the ducks? Uh, so a lot of people hunt them and they hide, uh, you know, find them and rehide them. Um, the ducks got her. They love the ducks. Yep. Keep on asking your uh, Jubilee questions. I want to tell you about a big trip, a big trip. I'll tell you about a trip that I'm taking. Um, we just found out and I didn't mention it on a live. So a couple people have referenced this. Good job. You watched the live and I was on the Jubilee and I found out that day and I was too excited to hold it. So now I'm going to, I guess, formally announce it. Oh, yeah, Usnavi. Usnavi is the duck queen for sure. Shonda hides ducks as well. Yep, we hide and hunt for ducks. And Mary, yes, absolutely. Let's talk about this here. We uh, were on the Jubilee and found out uh, Carnival sent us an email and said, hey, we would love to have you guys at the naming ceremony of the Carnival Frenze. And uh, standing on the Jubilee, getting this news, uh, just three weeks after we were on the Jubilee for the naming ceremony uh, with Christine Duffy, with Gwen Stefani, and, and the whole uh, charade there. Uh, but to to go through that experience and then for Carnival to say, you know what, we want you to come out for the Forense as well. There, there's times, guys, that I pinch myself. No lie. Uh, I, you guys are on this journey with us. You're just a part of this journey as I am. Uh, I try to share everything that I can with you and be transparent and real with you. 
uh, people all the time when we meet in person are like, you, you're just, you seem just like you are in front of a camera and yes, there's no different way to be. This is who I am. If that helps me or hurts me, I don't know, but this is who I am. So they've invited us to, uh, the naming ceremony for the Firenze that is on a Wednesday, April the 24th. Um, they invited Amanda as well. Amanda being a school teacher, we have pushed the limits this year, uh, to where she said, you know what? I, she signed up for it, but she said, I, I don't need to go to this. I would have to miss Wednesday. I would have to miss part of Thursday. And so Amanda's not going to go. And that that kills me because I hate traveling without her. But here's what I have booked. Listen to how crazy this is. And this is one reason why I want that camera. So I can document this wild journey. It will be the wildest 30 hours probably of my life. Here it is. Okay. I was booked on the original. I know, I know, Bogan. I know. They should not have done that. Add one more cruise. I don't know why they did that. I don't. Um, but yes. Um, so here's the itinerary. Tuesday, April 23rd, I will work my normal job. I will work, uh, of course, island time at 6 o'clock p.m. 6 o'clock. Fly Southwest, I will land in Los Angeles at 9.40 p.m. I'll get to the hotel, go to bed, wake up the next day, and I will wake up early because I've got a, I have clients on the East Coast, right? So I'm going to wake up probably about 4 a.m. Golly, that's earlier than what I thought it was going to be. I'll get, yeah, I'll get to the hotel at 11, wake up at 4 a.m. I will work that whole day. We don't get on the ship until about 4 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Wednesday, the 24th. Uh, we have the naming ceremony right off the bat, right when you get on naming ceremony. Then we're going to have dinner with all the big wigs, right? We'll have dinner and and I'll get to uh, continue meeting people that I don't know and, and build relationships with those that I do know. Um, and then that ends at uh, 7.30 or 8, I believe. And then we have kind of some free time to walk around the ship and to see the ship until 10.30 p.m. At 10.30 p.m., we have to be off the ship. We get off the ship. So at 10.30 p.m., I will get off the ship, and most people will be heading to a hotel room. I will be heading to the airport. Uh, 10.30, I will be heading from Long Beach to Los Angeles, and my flight takes off to come back home at 12.45 a.m. It lands in Dallas at 5.30 a.m., and then it takes off from uh, Dallas to Little Rock, 7.15, lands in Little Rock at 8.30, and I will be back to work by 9 30. So a wild 30 hours, April the 23rd, the evening of the 23rd through the 25th. I will run to LA, go to the name of ceremony, catch a red eye overnight flight back and get right back to work. <laughs> Do we have time to enjoy it? That's what I asked Amanda. Amanda was this. I said, Amanda, it's a day and a half. If you want to come, that's, that's the shortest I can do it in. And um, she said, you're crazy. I said, do I even have time to enjoy it, right? <laughs> that is going to be crazy, but it's, it's uh, Beckett has baseball practice. I have other obligations. We have clients we have to take care of. Carnival invited me to be on the first cruise on the Frenze and to, to stay into cruise for nothing. And uh, I, I just can't do it. I've got, we got things to do. We just got off a cruise. So uh, that's going to be wild, but I hope, uh, I want to document that for sure. And so that's one reason we'll see if that, uh, that camera comes in. If not, I'll be carrying that big thing with me. But I thought, how, how fun would that be to document? You know, leaving the ship at 1030 and having to get to the airport and check in. Uh, and then my American Airlines flight take off at 1240, 1245 a.m., land in Dallas at 5 a.m. and then back to Little Rock. So, yeah, crazy. Um, but we don't know. We don't know who the godfather is. We think it will be a godfather. Uh, with uh, Venezia, there was a godfather because there was already a godmother. Uh, when she was a Costa ship. So Jay Leno was the god uh, godfather of the uh, Venezia and Firenze. We're not sure yet. We do know that Joey is going to be the cruise director. Joey is Kendall's fiance. Uh, Kendall will still be off of work. She's off work for six weeks, she said. Uh, so that'd be neat as well because she will... Um, She'll be able to be there and support Joey. And so we're excited about that. We'll get to see her again. So, yeah, catching the old red eye. I I, I, we've never been on a red eye flight. It, you know, international flights, I guess, have been overnight, but no true domestic red eye flights. So that would be fun. 
Yeah. Red Bull, Joni. I need to try Red Bull. I have never had Red Bull or Monster. I need to try. I need to try one of those and see if see if they work. I will be tired that uh, Thursday. I guess it's the twenty fifth. Um, I'll be wore out, but I'll be working, of course. And I even thought about. Uh, I was like, well, maybe I'll just go into the office of my daytime job because it's near Little Rock. Uh, maybe I'll just go to the office that day and show up, and no one will even know that I just caught a flight from LA to be here. <laughs> It'd be crazy. Uh, yes, networking is you got to know people, right? Got to know people to know people. And uh, so we're working on that most definitely. We're excited about that, though. Uh, the Friends I is selling uh, currently uh, to Buenos Aires, according to Marine Tracker. Is she going to through the Panama Canal? I, honestly, I have not looked that close. I know that uh, I saw she was taken off. I guess it was ye late yesterday that she left, and it was a 24-day jersey uh, journey. And so I need to see. I have not even looked at that. We've been so busy since we got back trying to catch up. So I'll try to look at that. But that would be interesting. Uh, if that's indeed what she's going to do. I fly cross country uh, for one night trips regularly. I have even flown to Europe and Hawaii for two night trips. You aren't that crazy. Yeah, we've gone to, we've been to Europe a couple of times, but this, it'd be crazy to go out there for the ceremony. And then of course, come back on the red eye flight. And then at nine o'clock, nine 30, probably you're back to work. So going to take a carry on. I'll have uh, my suit and everything in that. And so it's like, I just did that. Can I wear the same thing? That, that, those are thoughts I never thought I'd be asking myself. Uh, but when you're when you're seeing some of these people, it's like, I probably should wear something different. Would they remember that I just wore this when I saw them a month ago? Probably not, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, Freddie Freeman, Will Ferrell. Yeah, who do you think the Godfather will be? Um, I don't know. I don't know who, I'm, I'm thinking of names. So Leno is... He grew up, he's an East Coast guy, right? I don't know. Who do you think the godfather, and I need to look up who the godmother is. Uh, is, is she still around? Is she popular? She might be there, you know, uh, for all we know. Friends say it's too big uh, for the old locks, but could go through the new ones. Yeah. Uh, she's a uh, she's the size of a Vista ship. She's not a Vista class because uh, they're, they're a separate class, but Yeah. Yep. The red coat. It was, it really was. Uh, maybe I'll wear that again. Who knows? That was carnival red coat. And I had the, the Navy blue pants. Amanda made fun of me before, but then she's like, Hey, I think that was a good choice. And I don't know how many people said, Hey, I like that red coat. So, um, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Red bull, sugar-free large can. And you got to guzzle it, Robert says. I, I will try Red Bull before I go, and then maybe maybe we'll have to buy one at the airport uh, and see. Yeah. You guys have some wild guesses on The Godfather. I don't. I have no clue who it's going to be. I really don't. It'd be interesting to see, to see though. Uh, Switch Dock, will MSC be docking in Cozumel? Uh, which dock? I think that should be, Scotty. It uh, should be the International. Uh, international Terminal is where MSC and Royal Caribbean have been uh, been docking here lately. Yep. 14 day on Venezia in January. Uh, Patty, that's going to be a great trip. It is. Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Is Jill Kimmel really a, a punchliner uh, comedian? I have not seen her. Has anyone seen Jill on Carnival Ships? That's interesting. Oh, P. Diddy. What is going on with that? I've seen part of that story, but again, been so busy and I don't know. I don't even, I need to catch up on that. I heard he left the country or something. That is crazy. It is. Uh, I did want to mention as well, uh, for group cruises, we have our New Year's cruise on the Jubilee. We've had a couple people book that recently, um, and we'll talk about future cruises. So that's our that's our cruise to end the year is the New Year's cruise. It will be a lot of fun. Of course, in July, we're going back to Europe. Uh, we're we're going to sell the new Sun Princess that just came out. There's been a lot of controversy around that. They, they canceled the first two inaugural cruises. The third one, they kept but like 40% of the ship was closed. It was not ready and people were upset because they should have probably canceled that selling as well. They think in the next couple of weeks, everything will be open, but we will sell the new Sun Princess from Rome, Italy to Athens, Greece. We'll stay uh, three or four nights on either side of that in July, but we can't wait until July to go on a cruise. So we're looking for June. We do have some carnival offers, which makes it so hard to pass up $100 offers to go in June 
uh, just about any cruise. And so it needs to be at the beginning of June because we're going late July. So I'm trying to spread them out. So work doesn't slap me on the wrist and say, you're taking too much time off. Who knows one day I may not even may not have to put in time off. Okay. We'll see what happens. Trying to grow this thing. Of course, you guys know that. Uh, but June, we're looking for maybe a trip. Is anyone cruising? Uh, and then we're not locked in the carnival by any means, but we do have, I was looking at it. We have, there's probably 20 cruises we could go on. The total would be about 400 bucks uh, because of the offers we have and they are casino offers. Um, and we're not even huge casino players. I don't know why they're giving us casino offers in June when June is the most popular time of year. Uh, it's, we, it's not on the Jubilee. Uh, there, it's not on the celebration because of course those ships are booking out and they are high. Uh, but uh, every ship out of New Orleans, I think maybe the dream out of Galveston. Again, we're not big players at all, <laughs> at all. Uh, but I was surprised to see it. And so we could. We could do the Seascape, um, I think, June 1st or the 8th. I'm writing it down. Uh, we need to look at that. It would be fun to get on there, uh, fly to Miami, and and do that. So let's look at that, Alex, and see. Uh, I need to go early on. Amanda goes to school, though, I think the first couple of days of June because of the snowstorm or whatever we had. So let's look at that. Um, we might do that, most definitely. Let's talk about uh, Carnival's new news of the day and get some of your thoughts regarding now the fifth, it's crazy, fifth XL class ship. Where are they going to put number four? That was the big question. It's like, where do they put it? There's nowhere to put it. I don't know where they're going to put it. And now there's a fifth. And now it really gets complicated. Do they put one on the West Coast? I think they put one on the West Coast. And when I say one, I don't, it may not be the new, the fourth or fifth one, but I think they move the panorama out. Uh, she's been there for a little while. So, uh, of course, bef right before COVID, less than a year before COVID. And then, of course, we had the COVID stint, and now she's been there. Um, I think they move the panorama out and they put one on the West Coast, which would be insane. And I don't say that because I cruise out of the West Coast. I don't a lot of times. Um, but I know the market well because we book a lot of cruises and there's nothing close. Like if they put an XL class ship there, other cruise lines might as well leave. <laughs> they might as well leave because there's, it's, it'd be crazy. Yep. Um, did you end up with a sh with a with on the ship? Now, Stephen, I did not get an offer when I went back to my cabin. There was no offer. Um, but they were loaded on my VIFP profile, which I thought was odd. So no paper offer, but I did. Did you, end, I know you, uh, there wasn't an offer on your cabin. Did you end up with an offer? Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. So maybe West coast gets one. Maybe that's in the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras to LA. Maybe celebration, maybe celebration goes to LA celebration. The Lakers, they've won a lot of championships. Maybe here's the other question that, that, I thought about, and I think others are as well. Do they get into this game of short three and four day cruises with large ships? Royal Caribbean has done it. A lot of people thought they were crazy when Royal Caribbean announced that for the first time ever, the lore of the sea was going to sell three and four night cruises. And then they came out and said, we have a brand new Oasis class ship. The Utopia is going to sell three and four night cruises. And then the wonder of the sea is the second largest cruise ship in the world. It's moving to Miami. She's going to sell three and four night cruises and they're making money. If you listen to their earnings calls, it is unbelievable the, the amount of money that they're making. And they credit it to these short cruises that they are charging like 80% of what a seven day cruise would cost. But there's cru two cruises in one week, three plus four is seven. To me, it seems like you'd wear the ship down a lot on three and four day cruises, all the turnaround, all the luggage being dragged through there. Maybe not. I don't know. I might, I might be in my head. Do you guys think that an XL class ship in 2027, 2028, which is not far away. We're in 2024. Do you think an XL class ship will sell three or four night cruises? Maybe. And I think this could happen. I think that you could see two XL class ships in Port Canaveral or Miami. And one does short cruises. One does long cruises. I could see it most definitely because right now Royal Caribbean is, is winning the short game market by far. Uh, Carnival is still attracting uh, a lot of people because they are, uh, the pricing is still good on their short cruises, but people who 
blue collar middle class family want who can afford that better experience the bigger ship they're they're winning the market right now so it'll be interesting to see yep i can sell any carnival cruise and most uh, in a suite with drinks everywhere and free play throughout uh, casino offers it takes less play than you think it does absolutely um and we have i would say probably 30 percent of our clientele you know get uh, those casino offers and sell for they pay a hundred dollars and get a hundred dollars on board credit and so does not take as much as as what you think. That's what I was trying to tell my brother. My brother's like, well, I don't have enough money to actually get offers. I said, play a little bit. You may be surprised at what they throw you, most definitely. Yep. Uh, smaller ships like the Fantasy, there are, Scotty. There are still smaller ships uh, like the Fantasy, but they're few and far between now, right? They really are. One sells out of Tampa. I'll, I'll be in Tampa. I forgot about that trip. Um Last week of April. So I'll come back from California and go to Tampa the week of the 29th, I need to check and see what the paradise uh, schedule is there in the carnival paradise. Uh, yeah. Full-time ship and mobile. That's a great idea. The spirit has been selling very well. Now she is a smaller ship and she's there seasonally right now because she also sells at Alaska. Uh, but she has uh, been selling very well. So maybe they move, uh, you know, a medium class ship, uh, maybe a dream class ship, if not, maybe a conquest class ship to, uh, mobile year round. That's very, that's very doable, especially mobiles port is, is pretty new really. Yeah. 500 onboard credit. You can't beat that at all. Did you ever find out what the milestone reward was? And I did not, I did ask guest services that last night about the announcement. I said, John Hill had an announcement. He said it was effective immediately. The way I took that as cruises leaving right now, was going to be effective, but I asked them and they had no clue what I was talking about. Uh, at all. I mean, they had no clue. So, so nothing, uh, nothing yet, but I'm sure someone very soon will see Royal Caribbean does, uh, they give you like a, uh, crystal little, like a rectangular ship. What's the thing called? It's in crystal, but it's, it's see-through, but has whatever ship you're on. It has that ship, uh, looks like a paperweight almost. They give you that on some of your milestone cruises. And I bet it's going to be very similar to that. I think so. Yep. Do you know if MSC uh, will have a Florida to Texas cruise uh, next year? Tim, uh, those plans have not been worked out yet as far as how will the seascape get from Florida to Texas. Uh, we do think she's going to have a dry dock in between that. And so that dry dock could take place somewhere like Freeport. It could take place somewhere in like Spain where a lot of dry docks take place. So we're not sure yet if she will uh, make that that reposition cruise from Florida or from from elsewhere. So we'll see uh, what happens there. I'm ho hoping to play a little bit more on NCL and hope for some offers as a new cruiser. That is the best way to do it. I tell people all the time, I'm not trying to make you spend money, but if you want to, uh, you want maybe some offers down the road. They really look at first time cruisers a ton. Uh, all cruise lines. Uh, those first time cruisers, they know if they can get you back for that second one, you're probably coming back for your fourth and your sixth and your 10th. So, uh, Amber, that's a great idea there to play maybe a little bit heavier in your first Norwegian cruise. Yeah. Mardi Gras can go five days and freedom can come to Mobile. There we go. Got it figured out. Uh, TJ is on our waiting list. Absolutely. For the new ship. And I almost started a new one today, but I thought 2028, that's way too far. Uh, 2027. And of course, that fourth ship, they will release more news regarding that ship very, very soon. They will also release itineraries and where, where she will sell from very soon. You've got to remember that Carnival and other cruise lines, they start to book out about two years in advance, right? And so uh, towards the fall of this year, they will probably announce a lot more details about that. And we will be able to book the cruise uh, probably 600 days out. So about two years out, we will be there. <laughs> well, and the, they think it's going to be 20 uh, in the springtime anyway. So we're, yeah. So two years out, I think it's going to be soon that we'll hear some more details there. Yep. Um, Fireball Steve, I missed a comment from you. You're booking somewhere. The Paradise in 11 days. How about that, Fireball Steve? That's going to be awesome. 11 days. I'm, I'm going to miss you because it would be that Um It would be it's going to be a month before I'm in Tampa, but that would have been cool. <laughs> um, 
how's the loyalty program at MSC? They have a great loyalty program. They have a status match where they will they will match your status of another cruise line or even the, like a hotel brand like Hilton or Marriott. Uh, and then the perks that they offer are really cool. Once you get to that mid level or upper upper level, they have things like uh, uh, time or free hours in the spa, the thermal suites. That's pretty cool. That's different, you know, from other cruise lines. Uh, but they will offer that uh, that status match whatever you are and it's just one form they usually work that form in about 24 to 48 hours so it's very easy yep need those 2028 20, sellings to be advertised for a wedding how cool is that they're through spring of 2026 right now so we still probably have another year for that but that will be so cool it really will yep a transatlantic would be neat on the fourth and or fifth uh, xl class ship uh you know it's Cruise lines, and I was on a meeting last week about this, and it was uh, it was uh, inter industry meeting. So there were all kinds of different cruise lines on there, and one of the topics was transatlantic cruises for new cruise ships. And Royal Caribbean was actually talking about the value of a transatlantic cruise because it's like a soft opening. Uh, you're not going to have a full ship. There's you know, especially these big ships. You know, 6,500 people. There's not going to be 6,500 people that can fly across, take you know, two weeks off and so forth. So maybe you have 4,000 or 4,500 people and Royal Caribbean was saying it's neat to use that as a soft opening uh, because people go, they move at a slower pace on transatlantics. I, I could say that from experience, everything was slower. You knew you had two weeks on there, so it's not go, go, go all the time. And so uh, Royal was kind of leading that, but Carnival uh, was also on that. There were different, it was at a conference uh, and they were talking about that. So I hope there is a transatlantic. That would be really cool. Yep. How do we get that level offer from MSC? Uh, you just have to fill out a form. Let me see if I can find it really quick. MSC, uh, status match. Right here. Let me see if it let me uh, paste this. Sometimes YouTube will not let me. But if you go here, there you go. If you fill that out, um, they will ask you to provide some sort of documentation that you actually have a uh, platinum car on diamond or whatever, uh, then uh, they'll match it. Yeah. So it uh, seems uh, to can't get the match program to work for MSC on car on carnival website. Uh, try that link. I just sent right there and see if that works. Uh, hopefully that will work right there. Uh, there's been several people fill that out and send it back. How does one re redeem their milestone benefit on a, a new booking? Uh, Amber, uh, you can, so a lot of people don't know this, uh, but when you get to your 25th and 50th and 75th cruise of Carnival, for instance, 25th cruise, then you get 25% uh, of onboard credit for your cruise rate only. There's a lot of confusion about that. Some people think it's 25% of the cruise or 25% of every person's cruise rate. It is 25% of your cruise rate. And so Ember, wait until you have a bigger cruise planned, and maybe it's your July cruise. We could use it towards that if you wanted to, uh, but just let me know which one it is, and I can reach out to Carnival. There's, It is a pretty big process. A lot of people don't know you can actually do it on your 25th cruise uh, as well. You, A lot of people think you have to do 25, and then you get it, but you can actually apply it to your 25th. So, um, yeah, let me know, Ember, if you want to apply that to July, we can get the 25% of your cruise fare applied. Uh, for you. And who knows, maybe then um, they might give you whatever gift they're giving away. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yep. Uh, when is the projected inaugural selling? 2027 uh, for the fourth. Shonda, we're hearing spring. We're actually hearing March, uh, but do not have a date yet. They have not released a date yet, but we're hearing spring for sure and leaning toward March. Of course, the project is still way out. So uh, there may be delays, you know, uh, that's one thing with inaugurals. Watch out, right? There could be delays uh, on either end. They could delay it week. They could they could add another cruise before <laughs> before your cruise. That's what they've done with uh, Utopia and uh, Utopia of the Seas and the Course Carnival with the Forense. Yep. They do 75% uh, of onboard credit for your 75th cruise. Yep. I used two coupons on my NCL cruise and found out that you can't do that uh, anymore. So if I booked last week uh, on the Seascape in Galveston, it would have been around $300 for two. Uh, Norwegian did have a, a sale on uh, future cruise certificates the other day that I saw. And that may have been what you're talking about. I think you paid, 
maybe you paid $150 and you got $300 in return maybe. But, um, and Jen, they will match, uh, now they'll match higher than gold even. Yeah. Beck, look how strange this is. This is the first time I've ever done this. I've done a show and I can't even see myself. All I see are the comments. Is that what you see? Yeah. Usually we can see ourselves, right? Right there. I have no clue. We can't see ourselves. Can I do the fishbowl? Yeah, we'll draw here in just a second. Absolutely. Uh, guys, if you're looking, if you need help with your cruise, of course, reach out to us. We are almost caught up. We have worked a lot of hours. I can say that. I've been up till four the last two nights uh, and been back up before eight working. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stay up till four tonight. It may be a, probably a 1 a.m. night, but we're almost caught up. Thank goodness. Bill, we would love to help you. But if you're looking... Uh, Looking for some help. We're going to be up for the next little while for sure. Amanda, I thought would join us, but I'm telling you, she's she's been working. If you need anything at all, you're looking to book a cruise, you want to transfer a recently booked cruise, uh, you can email us, travel at bookislandtime.com. We will help uh, help you out as much as we can. Um, and then we're going to we're gonna draw here, make sure I got everything down. We got a lot going on. Hopefully interview with Kindle Fire here coming up. We've got the Frenze coming up. We've got June that I guess will book coming up. We've got the Sun Princess coming up in July. Absolutely. Bill, absolutely. If you, uh, I don't see that you've called yet, but we will most definitely um, give you a shout. Mary, let's get you in here really quick. And then Beckett has joined us. So Beckett, we will let him draw. Do you know who Mary is? I've heard of that name. She's cruised with us before. Give you the Chief's Sensi that you got. The smell good thing. Oh, yeah. That was Mary. But you still have. Give us a draw here. Let's see who wins. A little uh, little gift, little hat, little shirt. See what we got. Who you got? John. Joni Swanson. Joni Swanson. Bam, bam. You got it right there. Uh, Joni, you have one, so uh, you can go to our spread shop and pick out a hat, a shirt, whatever you want, and we will mail that to you guys. We appreciate your support, as always, whether it's watching our channels, commenting, liking our videos, uh, coming on here, your super chats, all of it. We appreciate that. There's Joni. She says, yay. Uh, Joni said, thank you, Beckett. You drew her name. She said, thanks. Winner, winner. I'm going to let you buy the shirt. Chicken or the dinner. Hat. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, that was a quick hour. I promise it will not be that long before we go in between shows again. I appreciate everyone so much. Uh, if we can help you at all, let us know. We would love to, and we will talk to you later right here. On Island Time. <laughs> never fails, never fails.